In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature that has been introduced in Pro Tools 10, which is the clip-based gain. Very useful tool. So, where does the name come from? As you can see, when you first launch Pro Tools 10, regions are not called regions anymore, but clips now. So, what used to be the region menu up here is now the clip menu, and what used to be the regions list is now the clips list. So this is really where the name clip-based gain comes from. So it's a gain that is just linked to a clip. Let's take a listen to this little arrangement. Let's say that the baseline is a bit high in level and I would just like to lower it a bit. So as you can see now, there's a little fader down here where it says 0 dB. So I'm just going to click that and I'm just going to lower the whole clip by a few dBs. Let's take a listen. So this is to be able to access the gain of the full clip, so this fader is going to affect the full clip itself. And as you can see, Pro Tools is showing me how the waveform is being affected by my changes. So let's take a closer listen to this synth clip here. As you can see, the second instance here of the synth is a bit higher than I would like it to be. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to access what we call the clip gain curve by right clicking and going inside clip gain and show clip gain line. So the clip gain curve or clip gain line. I'm just going to go ahead and add a few breakpoints here, just like as I would do with the regular automation curve. Just lower it by a few dBs. Let's take a listen now. Let's say it's still high. I would like to lower it a bit more. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to say find a bit here, the balance. And... So as you can see, I can either just change the whole gain of the whole clip or I can just access portions of the clip and just change the gain of this specific portion. Obviously the next question is, how would this be any different from the regular automation curve that we use to automate volume with on a track? So this is exactly what I'm going to explain to you in the next video, so make sure to watch it.